Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Well, we are at beta 50 at the moment and we're just climbing up the ladder with these betas, beta after beta after beta, but with all these betas that come out, we are seeing more stability and more bug fixes with this jailbreak. So when Cirque finally releases the Cydia substrate and we were able to get Cydia on our Apple, on our iDevices, we should see a pretty clean jailbreak. But I wanted to give you guys just a quick tutorial. If you notice on my computer, I'm actually running Cydia Impactor in the background. And I'm gonna show you guys real quick, if you haven't checked out my other video on how to use Cydia Impactor or how to get the actual IPA or the or how to get or how to even get city impactor make sure that you do check this one out this one's going to be just a quick video on the matter at hand and what i'll do is i'll leave the change log for beta 50 for the uncovered jailbreak in the description down below so make sure that you guys do check this out now if you are new to the game and you're using city impactor for the first time make sure that you do have an apple id that does not have a two-factor authentication if you do, the only, well, actually, the main way of checking that is by going into Safari, going to manage your Apple ID, and you can check under security as you log in if you have two-factor two or two-type factor authentication. If you do, you cannot remove it from your Apple ID at this point. You will have to create a new Apple ID and then run City Impactor with the IPA, and you should be able to get the uncovered jailbreak onto your iDevice. So... From here, we're gonna actually switch over to our, for our into our Apple device, and I'm gonna show you guys that currently I'm on iOS 12.1. That way you guys know that this actually does work for iOS 12.0 to 12.1. This will also work all the way up to 12.1.2. And again, this is just a partial jailbreak. So this is not gonna install Cydia after you run the application. So as we try to tap on the application, we'll notice that we receive a untrusted enterprise developer app notification we're going to navigate over back into settings from settings go into profiles and device management and choose the apple id that you use for city impactor again make sure that your iphone is plugged in that you drag and drop the ipa right into city impactor log use your username and passcode hit start and it should inject the application onto your device and then once you trust your device or once you trust that application from settings, you should see the application run. Now we're going to quickly navigate over into, twi or into Twitter and I'm going to show you guys just a retweet. If you haven't already followed me on Twitter, make sure that you guys do. So I'll be retweeting uh, Panda Owens tweets and, make, and just making sure that you guys are up to date on what's happening with this jailbreak. But uh, once you navigate over into Twitter, we're going to navigate into his GitHub and I'm going to show you guys real quick where to pull the IPA. So if you notice, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see data, beta 50 and under beta 50, you'll see the change log of what's going on, the different stability fixes and the updates that he's done with the uncovered jailbreak, which is great. And then under those change under that change log, we'll see the assets. Those assets are the IPAs that you can download to uh, to install via City Impactor. So make sure that you navigate to this GitHub page by your computer. Unfortunately, I wish you could do this via Tweakbox or Ignition or App Valley, but currently there's a whole revoke situation going on at the moment and we have to do this via computer. So we're going to launch, we're going to actually navigate back to the app, launch the jailbreak, and with all the stability and with all the bug faces, I'm going to actually check to see, this should actually take the first time. We shouldn't see any sort of bugs or glitches or errors or any sort of restarts with this jailbreak. So let's go ahead and see if this takes. And as you can see, yep, perfect. Everything runs just as fine. Again, this is a partial jailbreak. You will have to navigate and do this over computer. Once Tweakbox, once Ignition, once App Valley become, uh, once the situation with the whole revoke process and with this whole certificate thing that's been going that's been going on once that gets resolved and once that gets fixed I'll do more videos on that but currently you will have to navigate and get the IPAs and City Impactor by your computer so I hope you guys did like this little video this little tutorial on how to get the uncovered jailbreak the beta 50 onto your iDevice uh, for free no jailbreak again no jailbreak needed nothing needed on this this is just a you just need City Impactor the IPA your iPhone and you're good to go and make sure that you do have your computer as well too. But if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, let me know in the comment section down below, down below and I'll be more than happy to assist you. And then from all things Apple Plus, catch you guys on the next video. Peace.